What is up YouTube? Perspective here. And today I've got a special video for you that is not related to trainers. Dun dun dun. Shock horror. It's actually something to do with another hobby of mine, which is sport, but specifically Formula One. Formula One and cars. Cars I got into when I was a little child, like any boy or girl might do when they're a kid. Just the little sort of mechanical ones that you pull back and they go forwards. But one of my uncles was a mechanic and he is the one that I guess inspired me in that sense but I could literally name any car uh, by just looking at its shape effectively I was that much into cars but when I grew, grew older um, another uncle of mine actually introduced me to the sport it was the days when Damon Hill and Jacques Villeneuve drove for Williams he actually bought me this many years ago and that's when I started watching it I then started following the McLaren team because at that point Michael Schumacher started dominating. And what was good about the McLaren team is that they had a driver named Mika Hakkinen. Another driver that was truly inspirational and ended up being world champion. So many drivers have come and gone since I started watching Formula 1. But if there's anybody that is worth remembering aside from Schumacher, obviously, is the person that has matched his record. It was in 2007 when rookie Lewis Hamilton, or Sir Lewis Hamilton as he's known now, joined the team. Under the wing of Ron Dennis, Lewis Hamilton has been dominating the sport ever since. From his first race, where I was like, whoa, who is this guy? It was just exciting racing. And then from there on, almost winning his first championship in his first year, only losing out by one point in the final race against Kimi Raikkonen. It's just crazy. crazy. Crazy for somebody who has just joined the sport and since then has been dominating it in every single aspect. Last year, he won his seventh championship, matching Michael Schumacher's record. He's been on a record-breaking streak for so long. And the standard that he brings to Formula 1 is impeccable. He's a clean driver most of the time. Um, sorry, any album fans out there. Um, but people tend to say that luck is on his side, that the car is the thing that's making him win. But take a look at the numerous examples where things haven't gone right. And that's where I truly admire him. And I guess that's where this video is going as well and the dedication to that. So as you can tell, I'm a big fan. And in 2020, with the significance of the Black Lives Matter movement, Mercedes decided to bring in a new livery or livery. I never know how it's pronounced. Please tell me. Since that car was introduced, from going from the Silver Arrows design for so many years to something that was black and looked like a little bit of a, like a Batmobile, I was like, whoa, that is a sexy car and that I had to have it in my life in some shape, some shape or form. And so I was on the search for a while, I guess, to, to try and find if I could get a model car that could be added to my collection. Um, but I searched for a long, long time and to no fruition. I was on Reddit as well and certain forums to try and ask if people knew where I could get one from. And then earlier this, this year, I was able to get that answer. So a company in the UK who actually does models as, the, as their business, uh, whether it's regular car models, Formula One car, car models, just generally, and l luckily came across them. Moto Legends, they're based in Surrey. Shout out to them. They had uh, pre-orders going on uh, this year for this library and I had to place that order because there was nowhere else that I could find it. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the size I was looking for. The, these ones, these uh, the Williams and the Claren that I've got, uh, 124 um, scale. And it was very difficult to find that size in this colorway. And so I had to go for something bigger and better in a way. And so it's made by a company called Spark. They are actually well-renowned for making models to the highest quality. 
And so this one is actually made by them. And the size that I went for was the 1 to 18 watt version. So you'll see the significance in size difference. But also the model that I went for was based on the 2020 British Grand Prix. Again, big significance to me. A, it's British. B, it's Lewis Hamilton, obviously. But also in homage to the way that he drove that day, if, if you guys watched that race... On the last lap, and as you know, the meme goes about Bono, all my tyres are gone, but his tyre actually went out in that race and Max was on his tail like crazy. If, it had been, if the race had been a few seconds longer, Max would have won. But his, I mean, Lewis is a tyre management guru anyway. He managed to go all the way to the chequered flag on three wheels. I mean, can you call that luck or can you call that skill? For me, it's definitely skill. And again... A dedication to how, how how great a driver he is and just a pure inspiration so enough of me um you know ranting on about that you can see that i'm a massive fan let's go into the detail and i'll show you the car itself oh wow would you look at that they packaged it really well actually nice and safe it doesn't look like there's any loose parts or anything so I'm really happy about that just that black library my god Spark have done a fantastic job with the detail I'm gonna give you guys a full view 360 close-ups and there's a gallery later on in this video too so you can take a look at the close-up detail I just love this black combination with the accents of aqua or turquoise and the Ineos Red. It's these contrasting colours as well. It just really pops when you've got um, the the reds, the sort of turquoise popping against the black. It's, it's what really appealed to me actually. I guess um, one of my favourite colour combinations is black and red anyway. So if we take a look from the front We've got the the detail in the wing. They've got every sponsor that has got it on the real life car. The Patronus, Sintium, and then at the front the Mercedes badge, uh, the Pirelli lo logo, the Tommy Hilfiger logo, the Patronus logo. The sponsors love seeing their logos on the cars and the helmets, but that's what they pay for. They pay through the nose to have just that on the cars. So moving on to the tyres, if you recall in the race itself, most drivers were on the hard compounds. So here we've got a replication of that. Um, I think some of the models that are available now actually let you buy it with the uh, fourth tyre gun, the, the one that had a puncture. But I, I, I didn't want that one. <laughs> um, it just, I just wanted more of the symmetry but again the attention to detail here as well, including the um, sort of turquoise accent as well, is you know sh showing the accuracy of, of this replica model. Now, if we take a look at the the sort of middle, the main area of the cockpit, they've got Hamilton sitting uh, with his purple helmet, and the detail here as well is apparent with all of the markings of the helmet. You've got the Black Lives Matter at the top, uh, Bose as a sponsor, Monster Energy, the seat belt, they've got the steering wheel, his arms attached to the steering wheel as well. I'm impressed. The, the level of detail is very, very good. And then as we go further back where the engine sits effectively, from an observational standpoint, you've got all of the Mercedes um, stars printed across which I think is a lovely design. I think the original Silver Arrows has that too but um, towards the back where the 44 of Lewis's number is is also one unique star. It, it would be interesting to know if that red star has significance but from an aesthetic perspective it's a lovely subtle detail. And then finally to the rear um, you've got the Crowd Strike and Epson logo on the wing Patronus as well and the the lights at the back too and, and the exhaust 
what was surprising actually was the, the sort of how how wide the undercarriage is. I didn't expect it to look like this. I think it's quite deceiving when you see it see it on television. It's normally from like a side angle, so you don't see it. It's all about the aerodynamics and keeping the car to the ground and then protecting the underside as well. I am over the moon with this purchase. It's exactly what I wanted and it's a piece of history, uh, something that I'll always remember. Every time I look at it, it'll be a reminder of that feeling, the excitement, the awe-inspiring driving that these drivers do. And again, appreciation of a effectively living legend. So thank you for watching folks, hopefully you enjoyed that video, whether you're a Hamilton fan or not. But hopefully my passion has come through. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Hamilton race at least another season, maybe win his 8th championship. This is Perspective signing off for now. If you've got any questions, comments, do let me know and I'll try and get back to you. But until the next one, take care and see you soon. Thank you.